the 28th of February, 1986, Olof Palme, the Prime Minister of Sweden, was shot. The day after, I went to London for the first time ever. One purpose of going to London, buying records. Records like this, Bo Diddley. I bought 13 albums with Bo Diddley on that one trip. I bought them all in this shop you see behind me. It was Tower Records. They had vinyl in five floors, lots of it. Now it sells clothes because there are no more Tower Records shops in the world. They're all closed. Why? Because of the mighty digit of digitalization that has completely crumbled the empire. And it crumbles other empires while building new ones. So digitalization involves institutions and a technical process called digitization. So it is the transformation of analog information such as music on vinyl records to digital information. For example, as it is on this Clash album of classical proportions. In the analog world, there's a very tight coupling between the music itself and three aspects. Namely, how it is stored, how it is processed, and how it is distributed. So for a piece of music stored on vinyl, is processed by a turntable and distributed in tower record stores or others. Once it is digitized, it is a completely different matter. Then these tight couplings are loosened. It can be sold on Amazon's web store, it can be sold by Apple, it can be shared in peer-to-peer -peer networks for nothing. Suddenly, control is relinquished and everybody can get in on the game. Lots of chaos ensued. It was not quite clear what was legal and what was illegal. But at the end of the day, what has happened was big players like Apple has gathered this control and garnished in inside their app stores. And suddenly, it is a different person or a different institution that makes the money from it. And hence, Tower Records is no longer a record store, but a closed store. <laughs>